So continuing our discussion on how to practice spirituality from the video series Spiritual Quest. So in this video, let us try to discuss that how to do this mantra meditation and what is the scientific backing for the same. Science says that when we engage two or more senses in a particular activity, our mind gets focused. And this technique is incorporated in the Hare Krishna Mahamantra meditation. So let us try to discuss how to do this mantra meditation to understand how our two and more senses are engaged in this technique. So when I am doing this Hare Krishna Mahamantra meditation, what am I supposed to do? I am supposed to chant the Hare Krishna Mahamantra, which goes as Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So when I am chanting this Hare Krishna Mahamantra, I am hearing it. So when I'm saying Hare, I'm hearing it attentively. When I'm saying Krishna, when I'm hearing it attentively. Similarly, the Hare and every power potent word of this Hare Krishna Mahamantra. And along with this, I'm trying to count the Mahamantra, how many times I've chanted. So for this, we use either the neem beads or we use our fingers for counting. Or nowadays, there are some electronic counters which can be used for counting this Hare Krishna Mahamantra. And this counting is also very important because that will help us to analyze our everyday progress when it comes to this chanting of Hare Krishna Mahamantra. So, after this, let us try to understand that how our two or more senses are engaged in this Hare Krishna Mahamantra. So, when I am chanting, my tongue is engaged. When I am hearing, my ears are engaged and when I'm counting, my sense of touch is engaged. So here three senses are engaged and science says two or more. So it is satisfied. So let us try to understand now that what does our life manual that is Vedic scripture say about this Hare Krishna Mahamantra meditation. So it says, Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Hare Nama Eva Kevalam, Kalo Nasteva, Nasteva, Nasteva Gatiranyatha. Which means that this is the only way, that is the Hare Krishna Mahamantra meditation or the chanting of Hare Krishna is the only way and there is no other way, no other way, no other way to escape this age of quarrel and hypocrisy and get closer to our eternal happiness. Why three times? To emphasize that this is the only way and there is no other way except this which can save us from this age of quarrel and hypocrisy. So in this way, by chanting this Hare Krishna Mahamantra, a spiritual practitioner can easily progress on the path of spirituality. Thank you.